Uh-oh, looks like some scores are being settled. Oh, jeez. Well, Ray Fisher, uh, <laughs> calls out Josh Whedon and accuses him of abuse. <laughs> um, uh, he went on Twitter, uh, to say Josh Whedon's on-set treatment of the cast and crew of Justice League was gross, abusive, unprofessional, and completely unacceptable which is uh, in stark contrast to his Instagram post at the time, which he now says he'd like to take a moment to forcefully retract every bit of this statement. He said, yeah, I mean, Joss is a great guy, and Zach picked a good person to clean up and finish up for him. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of crap you have to do when you're under contract to promote the film you worked on, so that's what he did. Albeit while wearing a I Love Zack Snyder t-shirt. <laughs> so yeah, I had to say that and pump up the movie that was doomed to failure. Uh, at the time, I, there had been stories that Joss Whedon was a bit of an a-hole on the set and was saying he was going to take Wonder Woman away from uh, Patty Jenkins and stuff like that. <laughs> he was just all full of himself and everything. Uh, so uh, now maybe there's some more truth to that one, you know. Uh, we all know that the guy's a bit of an a-hole and a hypocrite. I mean, even his ex-wife. <laughs> Which, look, uh, that's between the two of them, you know. Uh, and uh, Joss Whedon figured, hey, look, I'm in Hollywood. It's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> so, and now that he was a, a you know, uh, a kid in the candy store when it came to all the, the young babes uh, throwing themselves at him and hoping for a spot on Buffy or what have you and all that kind of thing. Oh, it's the same old story over and over again. And, uh, well, he was no different. But, of course, preaching all his uh, supposed feminist values, well, yeah, well, there you go. But anyway, uh, as it applies to uh, Justice League and uh, how uh, Zack Snyder was dealt a raw deal in all of that, uh, this does give more credence to that, especially since he goes on not just to attack uh, Joss Whedon, but also... Jeff Johns and John Burr. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff Johns has been seen as one of the central villains in all of this business. Uh, he says that uh, he was enabled in many ways by Jeff Johns and John Burr. Yeah. So, uh, Je now that might cause a little trouble. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Ray Fisher might get some, hey, cut that out. Uh, Jeff Johns is still an executive producer on quite a few of DC products, most notably uh, Stargirl at the moment, and supposedly involved with uh, the Green Lantern going forward. Uh, but then again, that's just the executive producer title that he gets, and all that means is probably they're contractually obligated to cut him a check, and then that's about it. Uh, so maybe that's all there is to it. But, uh, yeah, he's just speaking his mind on this, huh? But is it coincidental, or is there a, a, a bunch of people saying they want to take out Joss Whedon, and he's going to get canceled and everything? So, uh, just saying he was an a-hole in Hollywood, yeah, I'm sure he was. <laughs> I pretty much believe what Vince Fisher's saying here. But, look, you won. We won. The Snyder Cut is coming. Uh, it's going to be on HBO Max, and HBO Max apparently is banking everything on it, which is, look, even if it's a smash success, you can't bank everything on it. But, uh, so, uh, yeah, I pretty much believe what Ray Fisher is saying here, but uh, at the same time, uh, it's pretty much done, and uh, we're going to get the real one. And uh, at this point, about I, you know, it's just saying, hey, look, I'm just saying how it was. Uh, telling the truth and whatnot, okay, but uh, oh God, am I so sick to death of cancel culture, even for a holes that I don't like, like Josh Whedon. Um, uh, so, but uh, there it is. So, <laughs> I guess it's just the nature of things. Uh, but uh, you know, because I mean, uh, uh, Hollywood's got so much to answer for. But will they ever really pay for it? No, they only pay for it when all their franchises crash and burn because nobody wants to pay for them. But then a lot of people who uh, aren't necessarily all that guilty pay for it as well. So it's all very sad and everything. But uh, but ultimately, this is a case where uh, Ray Fisher won. You know, he, His uh, ultimate performance as Cyborg in the Zack Snyder version of it all uh, will eventually get seen on HBO Max. So... Uh, other than just telling the truth, which I can respect, 
And uh, I've always been, been always been interested in not just a Zack Snyder cut of Justice League, but also perhaps a documentary that tells the whole story of what happened. <laughs> that would just be fascinating. Will it happen? I'm dubious. So in that aspect, I can certainly respect Fisher's comments here as just telling uh, at least part of the story there about what happened. Uh, but I, I can't imagine uh, Warner would be all that happy with him talking about the behind-the-scenes nastiness like that. And in the era of cancel culture, again, I'm pretty sick of it. Um, but there again, this is his personal story. This is what he dealt with um, in that matter. But if this is some sort of coordinated thing, because Joe Sweden's been kind of quiet lately, but he's working on a new show or it's supposed to come out or something like that and then you know and people are after him i don't know uh you see a lot of that in hollywood and whatnot if it's something like that then yeah i'm not too happy about it even though i absolutely do not like the man uh, but uh he you know if he produces good product for a marketplace that he should be allowed to do that um, if people want to see joss whedon's uh, uh work uh that's their business uh but as far as uh, the story, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Ray Fisher is spot on <laughs> about what it was like working for Joss Whedon. All right. Thank you for watching and listening. So why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores and have plenty of goodies for you. You know, hats, mugs, stickers, posters, all that goody, goody stuff. Plus, you can head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Plus, you can also catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on my channel at BitChute. That's the Mr. Nelson Channel on BitChute.com.